Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. So today we are going to discuss another interesting question on the topic of binary tree. It is nothing but path sum in a binary tree. So before moving on to the question, if you guys are new to your YouTube channel, then please, please, please do consider subscribing our YouTube channel because we are making, we are doing our hard to educate the India. And if you guys are the regular visitor of our site, let's move on to the question and let's try to understand it. Okay. So as the question name suggests, okay, so as the question name suggests, in this question, we are providing the binary tree. Let me draw some binary tree. It is seven, three, and here 12. I'm taking the random values, okay? Taking the random values, zero, two, nine, okay? Uh, minus 17, uh, minus 17, and minus 27, 10, and here also 13 15 and 14 okay so this is a binary tree which with which we are providing with and what we need to do in this question is that we need to tell that whether the um, whether the uh, elements addition of the path from root to the leaf means if uh, if we add the if we add the values of the elements of these nodes from root to the path from root to the leaf if this sum is nothing but uh, some default or some target value or not so i'm assuming my target value is nothing but 11 okay so i'm assuming my target value is 11 and i need to uh, i need to find out whether is there any path exists from the root to the leaf uh, whose whose nodes value sum is nothing but this 11 so is it is it exist or not we need to just tell it in true or false okay we need to return that either true or false so let's try to find it whether it exists or not. So here we can see it's 7 plus 3. That is 10 plus 1 plus 0 is nothing but 11. So we can say that there is a one path which exists uh, whose uh, nodes value sum is equal to the target. Similarly, there is one more part that exists. That is, that is this. It's 7 plus 10 plus 9 minus 17. Okay. If we add all those things, we get 11. Similarly, there is one more path which exists. Which exist in the binary tree. Similar, that is the 7 plus 9 plus 12 plus uh, actually minus 27 plus 10. If we perform this addition, here also we get 11. Okay. But if I write the uh, some other path like 7 plus 12 plus 9 plus okay, wait, wait, wait. 7 plus 12 plus 13 plus 15 plus 14. Then here I will never get the 11. Okay. So I hope till now you get the problem statement. What we need to do, uh, we are provided with the binary tree and along with this, we are provided with some variable that is nothing but target variable. What we need to do, we need to, to uh, we need to find at least a single path. Means we don't need to uh, return its values. What we need to do, we need to check that is there any such path exists in a binary tree or not, whose node value sum is equals to the target value. If that path actually exists in a, in a tree, we just need to return true otherwise we need to return the false so this is our main goal for this question so let's try to figure out how do we solve it for that let me at first uh, let me make this uh, screen clear okay so let's again make a binary tree okay i am going to make the same binary tree. seven three one zero two three one zero and here it was two similarly on the right hand side it was twelve nine 9 minus 17 okay minus 17 i hope you get it that it was nothing but minus 17 and here it was nothing but minus 27 now 10 similarly here 13 15 and 17 sorry 14 okay so this is a binary so what will be approach to solve this question what will be the intuition behind this question what if i say that my intuition will be nothing but uh I will uh, I will uh, make recursive calls and ask some question to my parents uh, to my children's okay I ask my some question to my children's we know that uh, it is a uh, it is a binary okay so we what I'll do I will ask some question from this tree and I will ask some question from this tree what will be question let's try to figure it out okay so we know our target value is nothing but target value is nothing but 11 okay 11 we already know that we need to include the values of each node so what we'll do uh like i am including this root node so my remaining value is nothing but 11 minus 7 that is 3 
okay we now what we need seven eight nine ten eleven sorry sorry it uh, was not three it is four so the remaining value is four now what is my required value so what i need to know is i need to find some path from root not root actually from the children's of the root to the leaf whose uh, whose nodes value sum is equals to the four if i get some path whose uh, nodes value sum is equal to the four then i can return true otherwise i need to return the fourth so what i will ask a question to my children's i will ask a question to my children's uh, means to the to this root uh, root nodes children that whether is there any path exists from you to your leaf node okay from you to the leaf node whose path sum is equals to this four or not okay similarly i ask the same question from here whether is there any path exists from you that is from 12 to the leaf node to any of the leaf node whose uh, nodes value sum nodes value sum is equals to the target that is nothing but 11 minus 7 because we have already included the root node that is this 4 is there any such path exists or not we need to figure it out uh, so i hope you get it we are uh, we have an intuition we have a faith from our faith uh, to the recursive course or uh, to our children that we are going to ask a question from them and they need to answer our question okay what will be, uh, what was our question our question was nothing that uh, is there any such path exists from you to the leaf node to some of any of the leaf node whose nodes uh, whose uh, whose nodes value sum is equals to this target value similarly I re uh, we reaches to this three okay let's try to figure it out move forward like we have asked the question from the uh okay let me remove something yeah so we have already asked the question we know our target was 11 we have included this root node and now our target was remaining nothing but four so we have already asked means this root node uh, have already asked this question from its children that is the three and this 12 okay now what this uh, what this three does this three will ask the same question to its children means it is going to ask to its one of the left children and one of the right children that whether is there any path exists from you to any of the leaf node whose uh, whose nodes value sum is equal to the remaining value or the target value which i am going to tell you okay so what it will ask that whether any of the uh, any of the path exists from you to the any of the leaf node whose nodes value sum is equal to the one because here at this point of time i have included the three i have included the th this three into my answer along with this root node similarly this one this one will ask this question to its children that, that whether any uh, any path exists from you that is from zero to the leaf node so the leaf node whose uh, path sum whose nodes value sum is equals to the zero just because now i'm including this one also so here uh, this zero will say that yes i am the leaf node uh, i am the leaf node as this zero is a leaf node so it will return yes yes there is a path which exists from me from me uh, we heard the target sum is uh, is nothing but the zero so it returns the true this one also returns the true as it gets some path okay similarly this three returns the true to seven and this seven will say yes there exists some path from me to the leaf node to any of the leaf node whose nodes value sum is equals to the is equals uh, is equals to the target value so what we are going to do now we are going to write its code onto the peppering portal and then we again try to analyze it so here uh, here is our function we are going to write the code here so uh, we need to make two recursive codes so let me make only one recursive code and let me make a one recursive call and then ask the question uh let uh, i am making those both of these two recursive call into the return statement only okay so as path so what will be my parameter at first root including itself ask a question to its left child root dot left ask a question to its left similarly uh, root including itself ask a question to its right root dot root dot right okay as it has included itself it need to exclude its value its node value from the target sum so let me subtract something from the target sum 
target sum minus root well it is root dot well similarly from here also trget target sum minus root dot well okay i hope you get it that till now there will be uh, there should be no confusion let me write some of the base cases one of the basic base case that is if we encounter the uh null okay if root reaches uh, if our node reaches to the null what we need to return in that case if we reaches to the null we need to return the false just because uh, just because if, it, if our node reaches to the null that means we don't get any of the path okay in that case we don't get any of the path we need to return the false similarly one more thing which we need to consider uh, let let's figure it out what was that okay for that let me move to move here on to the uh so that was nothing but including the leaf nodes uh, as our question states it's uh, as our according to our question it states that we need to find a path from root to the leaf node only okay we need to find a path from the root to the leaf node that's why we need to check that whether the path which we get till now or which we encounter till now uh, is a path from root to the leaf or it is from any of the node to any of the node okay means it is between two any of the two random nodes or it is a path from root to the uh, root to the what we say it as a leaf okay so i hope you get it what we are doing we are checking that uh, if we are getting a sum equals to the target or if the target sum becomes zero if you are getting such a case we need to check that whether that case arise only at the leaf condition or is it arise any of the random position so let's write its code here uh, we need to write the base condition okay you are writing here okay yeah if uh if root dot left equals to null equals equals to null and root dot right equals to null if such a case arise then we need to return we need to check okay so i'm um, checking it in the i'm writing the condition of checking in the return statement so we need to check that target sum actually target sum minus root dot well whether it is equals to the zero or not okay so this is the case uh, this is the code at first what i'm going to do i'm going to run it after that i uh, we will try to analyze it on the whiteboard so uh, we get the compilation error let's try to resolve it okay okay so i get the error so here we have uh written wrong function name it is has path sum similarly here it is has path sum and one more thing is that we forget to remove this uh, con uh this statement okay so let's again try to run it hopefully it will get and, and we get the okay one more error let's try to resolve it oh okay yeah here the s should be capital okay so again let's try to run it and hopefully it will run this time okay so let's try to submit it okay uh just wait for some time i need to log in and i get back soon with the code and then we try to analyze it okay so i'm back with the code let's try to run it and uh, means let's try to submit it and then let's try to analyze it at last time okay so it is a wi-fi error that's why it is taking so much time and it gets submitted let me take this code to the whiteboard and then we try to analyze it so these five lines are very much important actually according to this question okay so let me erase this useless things from this our beautiful tree this even this is was not required this was not required so we are just going to take a small thing okay so our function start executing from the top at first we encounter this whether root is equals to equals to null no this condition will not get executed we check whether the root is a leaf or not this condition obviously not get executed now we make a recursive call to the left hand side by asking a question from the uh, left subtree we can say that left subtree whether is there any path exist from u to the leaf node to any of the leaf node we heard the target sum you will achieve will be nothing but four okay similarly 
and first here obviously we make the left call similarly the three will recursively encounter this root null condition or leaf null con uh, leaf node condition and these both of these condition will not get executed so this three will again ask question from one whether is there any, any path exists from u to the leaf node where the <coughs> where the path sum will be nothing but uh, node uh, node value sum will be nothing but one okay now recursively one will answer the same question from the zero itself and zero will return true yes there exists a path from me to the from me to <coughs> to the leaf node as zero is also actually a leaf node so it returns the true uh and it get returned true from this condition okay this condition get executed because zero is a leaf node and as it is a leaf node we check a condition whether the target sum minus uh root value is equals to zero or uh, zero or not and it returned true yes my root value is zero my means target sum minus the root value is zero it returned true this return this true get passed to this one actually back uh, during the backtracking it this one get true this four uh this three get true and this seven get true and as a movement i get true here i don't need to make the the right hand side code just because we know the or operator or operator work in a way the moment at first i start executing from left to right and uh, and on the right uh, on the left side if i get true i will not execute the right part and as from the left side we get a true we will not execute the right part and this function will return true okay actually this path also returns true if our left part get filled in any of the way this path also returns true and at a as at a final course we get nothing but true because there is a path exists from root to the leaf where the node value sum is nothing but the the, uh, the target itself so i hope you get the solution of this video if you like this video please share this video with your friends hit the like button and don't forget to our don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy.